Thank you very much, Dr. Zerbinati, for attending our conference and actually the workshop here in Sydney. Um, and, and next two days we are going heading to Brisbane. I uh, would like just to highlight about uh, why we are moving from, say, nanosecond to the picosecond. Everyone said now we need pico, pico, pico. Does that mean nanosecond will disappear? Uh, related to the two issues, which is, say, about uh, the tattoo remover and also about the pigmented lesions. Okay. Absolutely. Two switch technology is again absolutely valid technology. And uh, I consider the Pico technology an evolution of the Q switch standard nanosecond technology. If, uh, if I want to explain the better the concept, uh, working with uh, Pico second technology, we can increase the efficacy and the safety of. Uh, procedure of lease of the tattoo removal. Mm. But uh, I cannot tell you that because which technology is about technology. It, it's just because of the pulse duration improving. So it helped mostly to the pigmented lesions, sorry, like melasma and other uh, pigment. And like the information uh, early today about uh, especially Asian skin, which is very uh, sensitive, we can say, to the uh, erythema reflected from the nanosecond. Yes, decreasing uh, a lot the pulse duration, we can achieve the same biological and histological damage on small uh, target with less fluence. So we can decrease a lot the temporary side effect and we can decrease also the inflammatory reaction on the skin. So we can reduce all the side effect related with the inflammation, like for example PIH. So let us talk the future. Do you believe that if we move to the femtosecond, which is shorter than the picosecond, how much impact about I hope. Of the dermatology? You know? I hope that in yeah. the ophthalmologic field is uh, is a we are using ophthalmology yes. uh, femtosecond. Yes. But if if this technology coming to the dermatology, uh, it will very good impact. Uh, absolutely yes. We will resolve the problem of uh, the the color of the target. We will uh, we will work in uh, blinded mode. Interesting. In in the pico discovery. We seen that there is a thermal effect, there is nanosecond and picosecond. Why they mix this three uh, different wave, uh, different pulse duration in, in one system? Uh, because working with uh, different pulse duration, you can have an interaction with different dermatological pathology, from uh, uh, nail infection to uh, pigmented lesion, tattoo removal so you can use the machine with a lot of different uh, applications so clinical like, applications yeah. so like in melasma do you, do you sometimes you treat it with yes. a nanosecond and then yes. you move to the pico yes because melasma is a biochemical chain of events and so mm. you can have an interaction with all these events working with different pulse duration emission and the last question about the fractional now the fractional uh, we talk, everyone talk about fractional laser, but now we are talking about in fractional in, in, in picosecond. Mm -hmm. What is the side effect and what is the outcome that in very small, which is needed, there is no thermal effect, we are using acoustic effect in very short. Why we are using this fractional? How much impact about uh, in, in the skin tightening or improving collagen or? Yes, the, the evidence shows us that working with this photoacoustical effect you are able to create a lump inside of the papillary dermis layer and the epidermis layer. And this removes the stimulation of a lot of cytokines that uh, increase the metabolic activity of the fibroblast. This probably is the new frontier of the skin restoring. So now we can say most of the uh, any pigmented lesions or, or 
you are I I seen that you start also with the fractional immediately. Yes. Absolutely. You combine. Yes, you can combine. You can combine. You can. Which is improving what healing process, or increase the service area, or or get more penetration of the light and go more. Probably further. all of this. Hmm. Probably. All this effect. Anyway, thank you very much for joining us and hopefully we'll see you next year. Thank you. Thank you.